When I was creating this product animation, I realized that I needed to make the flowers be smaller at the area of emission. I finally figured it out, and that is the reason I made this video. The first step is to set things up by adding an emitter object. The emitter is going to be around this selected object. Shift S, cursor to selected. On the outliner, I am also going to add a new collection for the emitter object. Add in a sphere and also scale it down. Toggle X-ray for clarity. The sphere should be very tiny in order for it to fit inside the nozzle of this spray bottle. Then apply scale by pressing Ctrl A, then apply scale. On the outliner, I am also going to rename this sphere to emitter. The next step is to add a curve that the particles are going to follow. That is going to be a Bezier curve. In edit mode of the curve, switch to top orthographic view and scale the handles along the Y axis by zero. Also scale them down in front orthographic view. Move this right point towards the middle of the emitter. Now it's time to adjust the curve to the desired shape. I am doing this in front orthographic view. I want to make the origin of this curve to be at this point. When it is selected, Shift S, cursor to selected. Tab out of edit mode. Go to object, set origin, then origin to 3D cursor. The next step is to add a particle system to the emitter object. When the emitter object is selected, go to particle properties, then add particle system slot. If you play the animation, you can see that the particle system is working great. How do you make the particles follow a curve? Select the curve, then go to physics properties. Activate force field, then change type to curve guide. As you can see my particles are displaying a weird move. They are behaving like that because the direction in the curve is not set right. As you can see, the end point of this curve has a solid circle around it. And at the beginning of the curve, you can see a dashed circle. In order to change the direction of the curve, tab into edit mode, then select this point. Right click, then switch direction. Now if the animation is played from the start, you can see that the particles are following the curve in the correct direction. The next step is to change the emitted particles to be actual flowers. When the emitter is selected, go to Particle Properties and Expand Render. On Render as, change it to be Object. This flower object is the one supposed to be used. On the Instance object, click on the eyedropper, then select Flower in the Outliner. The flowers are very small. Therefore, increase the scale to 1. I am also going to reduce the number of the flowers. These flowers need to have random rotations. Activate Rotation, then set Randomize all the way to 1. The final step is to make the flowers smaller at the area of emission, and it is fairly simple. Scroll down to Textures. Select the first texture slot then create a new texture. I am going to rename it to Particle Size. Click here to show the texture in Texture tab. Change type to Blend. Go to Influence, disable General Time, then enable Size. You can see after setting Influence to be Size, some flowers have become smaller in a random manner. But they need to be smaller at the start and bigger towards the end. 
On mapping, change it to be strand particle. You can see the needed effect is achieved. In order to have more control over the scaling of the particles, go to colors. Enable clamp and color ramp. Expand color ramp and adjust the color stops. And that is how you control the size of particles from an emitter object.